Okay, we're rolling. So the first thing that I do is I create my folders for my events. Now this one was shot in Vietnam and it's around town on a motorcycle. I take and create a folder for cameras and inside that I create six folders and I transfer each one of the cameras just the way that it is on the card into the folder. Then I open up the Omni importer. Now let's take a look. This is version 2.6 beta 2 and I click locate your footage. By doing it this way you avoid having to overheat the USB hub. I find my camera folder, I select that folder and inside it's going to look and it's already seeing data. It'll find all the data that's in there, all the shots and put it all together for me. 25 shots found. Here's one shot that we did. All right, here's one of our walking shots in town. Okay, here's one of our motorcycle shots. And as you can see, this is when I first got on the bike. We're about to take off. You can scroll forward and you can play. And even though you've got this roller coaster view, because I use my camera set up in a cube format, you can still see how it goes. Now you can't adjust this at this point, but it does give you a chance to look at it. And if you want to, you can only look for videos or only look for photos or multi shots and you can star certain ones. Now what we're gonna do with this one is we're going to stabilize it. We're going to make a smooth blending because it's a motion shot. Don't need to flip it. We are going to do colorization every five seconds and I'm not going to bother making a project file video although you can anything from 2k up all the way up to full 8k and then I'm going to click start processing and now it's going to ask where do I want to put it so let's go back into our settings and inside here you need another folder that says shots and that's where we're going to put everything and now that we've selected it there it goes it's already working and you can see it's moving along right here Okay, now one of the other nice things about the importer on 2.6 is when you go into your preferences, you can choose what you want as your default settings. You can even do that for your JPEGs or make them TIFFs. and your default import directory. 